and welcome back to you YouTuber guys and in this one I think we've got a, a really really fun unboxing video for any of you guys who follow us on Instagram at in, uh, sorry at Yugi underscore Tubi, you would have seen uh, we put up a post recently where we talked about the lost art set so basically when you spend over 30 pound in a shop um, you can get one of these LART cards and um, sort of free in, in your purchase and participate in OTS stores um, really really cool sets I mean they've got Exodia they've got sort of um, Monster Reborn they've got really really car cool cards in there some dark magician girls etc um, and I had been trying to collect the full set and I came across a buyer um, came across a buyer who was selling his whole collection getting into Pokemon and I thought okay great let's uh, let's sort of hash out a deal so we did put up a, a, a Yugi power pole we asked you guys if you wanted us to, um, to purchase this full lore set you guys came back with a resounding yes and here is the unboxing video so let's have a little look at what we've got in here there's a lot of cards I think we've got 53 cards in total if I remember correctly um, so nicely wrapped there I think these are probably the rarer cards I think he's got these in top loaders so I think we might leave this one for the next video this one here I think we should have something like maybe 40 cards to go through um, you can obviously see the legendary fisherman in the front um, but let's crack into this really really excited the guy um, I dealt with was an absolute gent uh, really really uh, really really helpful um, sent them over I think we bought them maybe two three days ago um, and, and sort of arrived um, it was actually yesterday, but we only got round to open these today. Um, so let's have a look. I mean, as you can see, there's an absolute ton of LART cards in here. Really, really cool. Um, so I think we maybe have, I don't know, maybe 40 cards in here. Um, but let's go through these individually. So just a little top loader, top loader at the back as well. Let's maybe split these right down the middle. And let's have a look at what we got. The other thing that I loved about this buyer is all of these cards as you'll see they're in original seal. Um, so every single one in original seal, which is obviously amazing because some people obviously may open them, they may put them in their decks and that's totally fine, but other people you know use these as, as collectibles and that's definitely what I wanted to get out of this. Um, so let's go through these one by one, see what you guys think. Um, let me know in the comment section again, do you have any of these LART cards? Any that you'd actually like to, to look at maybe adding to your own collection? Um, so we've got the Legendary Fisherman, really, really cool. Um, such a classic. Uh, as you can see, fully sealed on the back. So LART card one. We've got Harpy Dancer. And I guess when I was looking to purchase the, um, the set, I was looking at actually some of the originals, so like, you know, Exodia pieces, etc. But this guy gave me a really good deal and I just bought everything off him. So I'm fairly sure this is almost all of the LART cards. Um, so we've got Lumina, Twi uh, Twilight Sword, Shaman. Again, fully sealed. Harpy Feather Rest, Enchanting Fitting Room, really cool. A Barrel Dragon, have one of these already, but listen, more to the collection. Storming Wine, Gemini Elf, good old classic. A Valentine card, obviously all sealed. Nurse Dragon Maid, Chocolate Magician Girl. So I think this, you know, you've got obviously Berry, Chocolate um, Magician Girl, you got a few others, but I think this is the only one they printed on the uh, on the Lark set is the chocolate, obviously with, with Dark Magician Girl. Um, Foolish Return, such a classic. Lesser Fiend, some cool artwork on that. I just love this set. Parasite Parasy, have this also. Edge Imp Sabres, Fake Hero, Tribute Burial, another classic. Cyber Agent Ben 10, Dark Ruler Hades, Again, like as you can see, these cards are all pristine. Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Zexel, all pristine in their um, in their original packaging. Just, I mean, really, really happy with this with this purchase. Uh, Arrival Rivals, Lumina Lightsword and Summoner, Raging Eerie. I think this is one of the the newer additions to the the Lark uh, the, the Lark print. So one of the newer ones, I think. And we got Harpy Queen as well. Nice. First half. Let's get into the second half. Um, see what we got here. Again, I just love the fact they're all sealed and just in such prime condition. A lot of these, you know, you could potentially get PSA graders. We take even offerings to the Doom. I mean, more than likely, guys, it'll be these cards we'll be looking to get PSA graders. But do stay tuned for the next video and we'll look at sort of 
are any of these actually worth getting PSA graded? Is there any chance we could get them? Um, you know, PSA 9, PSA 10. Offerings to the Doom. Blazing Kita. Harpy Channeler. Frightful, oh, sorry, Fright for Leo. Cool artwork. Ghost Sister. Dogwood. VWXYZ Dragon Catapult Cannon. What a classic. Really, really cool. Um, Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon Gustav Max. Got another Harpy Conductor in there too. Ring of Destruction. This card is, is uh, another classic. Again, just beautiful, uh, beautiful condition on these cards. Um, again, limited edition, you see LAR EN007 in terms of the print run. We even have a skill drain in here. Uh, a soul drain, I mean soul drain actually goes for quite a bit as well. I think these go for maybe 10, 15 pound. Um, it's really, really cool. Call of the Haunted. There's a little hair print there. Um, another immaculate condition card. You know, that's that, that looks even just from looking at the eye, the, the eye print, that looks like it could be a strong contender for a PSA 9, PSA 10. Bordering looks perfect. Doesn't look like there's any scratches on that card either. Back looks good too. Very little. In fact, no whiting on that. That is uh, a perfect, perfect condition call of haunted. Uh, alluring mirror split. Super rejuvenation. Cool. Elemental hero burst trinitics. Uh, really cool artwork. Celestia, Light Sworn Angel. Tragedy, nice. Uh, Vampire Vamp. Don Zalug. So the interesting thing with Don Zalug is there's actually so many different price, um, uh, so many different prices on Dan, uh, Don Zalug. So it's actually very hard to get a, an accurate price. They go anywhere between sort of 10 up to 40 pound I've seen on, 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 Dan, on Don Zalug. So um, really nice one to add to your set. Uh, Solemn uh, Judgment, definitely one of the in-demand pieces from this LARP set, so really, really nice card. Uh, we've got a Cyber Angel, Edaton, and finally we've got a Foolish Burial, another classic. Send one monster from the deck to the graveyard. So guys, I mean, as you can see, really, really happy with this purchase. Um, some really cool cards in here, I think in, in terms of adding to your collections and, and even just for the long term, just having a bit of fun. I think you can't really go wrong with these Lord cards. Um, let me maybe try and sort of display these a little bit better, show you just sort of from this half of the of, of the openings what we've got. Um, but do let me know in the comment section, you know, what's your favorite card we've opened? Do you like these Lord collections? How many have you got actually? Have you, have you completed the set as well? Uh, but let me know, let me uh, let me put these in some displays and let's uh, let's come back. Okay, so I just did a little bit of a, a display for you guys show you some of the uh, sort of some of the more valuable sets from just this this little opening so you've obviously got the Solemn Judgment, Call of the Haunted, Ring of Destruction, you've got some uh, uh, Soul Drain in there as well and a Skill Drain, some collection of the uh, maybe higher demand or more popular magics and then two of the uh, two of the more popular um, you know monsters as well but as I said guys we also packed all of this um, in here as well. So uh, definitely a really, really cool set. I think the fact that obviously you only get these with purchase um, in, in participating in OTS stores is really, really cool as well. So it does create that little bit of, um, you know, sort of exclusivity with these. So um, listen, that's it all for this video. Um, do let me know in the comment section, how many of these LARC cards do you have? Um, you know, do you like them? Um, you're looking to complete the set. And if you haven't already, guys, do subscribe to the channel because we will be opening up the uh, the real big hitters in terms of the LARC collection. So these cards here are probably worth, you know, maybe a couple of hundred, if not, um, maybe 150, 200 pound worth of cards. And I wanna see as well if there's any chance of getting any of these PSA graded. So do subscribe, stay tuned for this unboxing video. We'll be finishing up the LARC or Lost Art collection set. So thanks a million guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next video and uh, thanks again. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God.